Now, as you can see, there's quite a few blemishes on my face and in the skin that I need to work on cleaning up. So that is going to be the next step, and this is going to take a little while. So hang in there. So you can see I did not wear makeup on this day, so there's quite a bit of red spotting in my skin that I'm going to work on cleaning up. And you can see a little bit of leftover makeup from the day before, right there. So I've got my Spot Heal tool selected and Content Aware. And I've got a pretty small brush size, and it really depends on what you're cleaning up. So I'm going to work on cleaning up mainly some of these larger spots. And this fill a little. Now, if you want to be a really cautious person, you should probably be using a layer for this. To keep your work from getting ruined. I'm pretty confident when I'm using Photoshop though, so I usually don't use layers except for very special circumstances. removing some of these forehead lines of mine. Just really trying to clean up some of this stuff. Now, I've just had a thought and I'm going to go ahead and try this and we'll see if it works. I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Selective Color. And I know that sometimes when I am working with a lot of red blemish like this, I can reduce the reds. And if this works, what I'll do is I will paint back in my lips and my eyes and areas like my nostrils and hair and the rest of the image. And I will leave my skin um, with the effect. So let's give it a shot. Sometimes if you remove blacks from reds, kind of lightens up the skin a little bit and it looks like it did a pretty darn good job here and it would give me a lot less work to do so let's kind of take a preview of that I don't know though do I want that? I'm going to actually say cancel on this because I like the hue in the skin and I feel like it takes just a little bit away from it like I said today you're just kind of seeing me rummage through photoshop to clean this image up Nothing too pre-planned. I'll probably speed this process up a lot in post so you guys don't have to watch me do every single bump on my face. I don't know what all this scritchy stuff is, but sometimes if you give it a little bit of a wild shape, it'll help clean a little bit of it up. If you want to destroy a texture, this is the best way to do it. Just give it a little scritchy line through it. It won't know exactly how to follow the process with content aware, and it will get rid of your texture in most cases. I don't know if I have to deal with all the bumps because it's not super close with the image. But I just want to get it a little bit cleaned up here. I don't want to take too many freckles away, but we'll get rid of some that are a little stand out here. Gonna back up just a little right there. It's good when you're doing this to just kind of peek around every once in a while and see if any of the work you've done so far just kind of it's a little clashing. Go back through and maybe do some lines around it 
with the content aware to kind of brush it into the rest of the image. Really don't like these bumps right above my lip. They look like a rash. I'll try to brush those away. Got pretty lucky there. Brushing right above my lip. That usually does not work. Usually you want to go right along the line when you do that and it'll stick with the line. Back a little, that's good. Got a little bit of a missing lip right here. Just because I didn't make up up, didn't have lipstick on. Sometimes the edges of my mouth get a little skin toned. So I will fix that up a little later. This is me with makeup one day removed, as I like to call it. As you can see up here, there's still a little bit of this eyeshadow and eyeliner going on, but pretty much the rest of my face is without it. There's a little bit in my skin here and there, um, but for the most part, it's just eye makeup. get that cleaned up in a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of that right there in my lips. You have to be careful when cleaning up lips. You don't want to take too many lines away. Should be a little texture to your lips. Just get right rid of anything that looks like a sore. Make my brush really small and try and Get rid of that little bit of light color right there. Alright, I think we're mostly down to the neck now. Got that little bump right there. A little bit of redness right there. Zoom out a little. Looks mostly cleaned up, but I'm still not happy with this area right here. So I'm going to work a little more on trying to blend that in. Looks a little better. So now I am going to go to, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and go to filters and liquify. So now we're in the liquify panel and I've already got it selected. This little brush up here is kind of a a push brush so you kind of push it any way you want and it, kind of, it will bring out that shape. So I'm going to zoom in on this lip of mine. Oh, whoa! Let's see here. And my brush size is too large, so I'm going to go control, or actually I don't have to, I'm just going to use the bracket underneath the minus button. Bring it down in size. I'm going to try and fill my lip out just a little bit. Kind of give it that more sculpted look, particularly since I'm not wearing lipstick in this image. And some days, especially after a lot of makeup, my mouth kind of gets that tired. Been in makeup, just wants to be light pink look. And it doesn't always show the mouth very well. So I'm just kind of going around the edges, anywhere that looks a little faded, just kind of pushing the lip color out towards it a little bit. 
make it a little more full looking. Increase the brush size just a little here, get a little faster work done. This won't look too weird. If it does, I will fix it up just a little bit. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller again. Go up here to the upper lip. Just kind of bring a little bit of that in. the brush size again. It's looking a little more full so we'll say okay to that and just see how it looks. I'd say that looks fairly alright for starters. I might do a little shift around it later on to blend it in a little more. So now that I've cleaned up my skin, I've got my mouth kind of shaped up a little bit here. I've got the foreground of the image lit up. I'm going to start working with my eyes. Now since we've got this nice little sun ray kind of coming in behind my head here, I don't really want to take away from that too much with how it looks with my eyes. So I'm going to try and make sure that I don't overly saturate my eyeline, eyeliner. I'm just going to try and take the shadows this time and just cast it over the whole eye. I just don't want to, with the sun effect coming in, I don't want to overpower it because I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to call this good for now at least. I might back it up a little later. And I'm going to go over my eyebrows. So for this, I'm actually going to move it back down to mid-tones because they just seem to be a better blend for eyebrows. I call that one good. A little over this side. Good. And I'm also noticing that I also have quite a bit of um, sleepy eye or eye, shat eye circles, so I'm going to work on actually removing those now. That was also might have been um, kind of expanded by the use of the shadow tool. So going back up to content aware for starts, I just try and do a simple grab and see what happens. Seem to give a little. Let's see. Let go in now with the small brush and try and squiggle out a little bit of these lines. That little stray makeup right there. So you're seeing me when I'm experimenting in Photoshop today. I do a lot of these same things when I'm working on other images. Um, this this is an unplanned edit. It's just going at it and letting you guys see what the process is like. There we go. I think that one's taken care of fairly well. We'll take a look. It, it always depends on what it looks like when you zoom out. 
I can grab that one too. That one actually faded away quite nicely. Just clean up a little right here. All right, back out we go. Head over to part three of this tutorial where we will finish the color and finish this image. Thank you for watching.